talking about composition and shot construction it's such a complex subject isn't it because how do you divorce composition from lighting those projects were dealing with shadows it has an intensity and there's a, a equilibrium between the acting and the way the actors are moving into light You know, on a film like Prisoners, I like something that cuts the frame and focuses the audience's attention. I like that sort of technique, really, whether you're shooting through a door frames. Where's my daughter? Or whether you're cutting a frame with an object. in a way on something you want them to be looking at and simplifies the frame, but also creates the idea of a threat. Creates the idea of somebody watching. favorite moment of Sicario. It's probably the final scene between Benicio and uh, Emily. I need you to sign this piece of paper. Because it's a scene that was literally written differently. It basically says that everything we did was done by the book. I can't sign that. And then the way you approach it with light, where Benicio is backlit. Sign it. And urge is like, even leave it. There's something about the conflict of the movie that is expressed through light in that moment. And it's by far one of my favorite scenes of the movie. I think it's probably one of my favorite scenes we've done together, Roger. Yeah, it's also probably, I've said before, I think that's my favorite scene in the film because it's so simple. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting that we're both talking about a scene that's two people sitting at a table in a kitchen on a set <laughs> that co cost about 10 grand, you know. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's all the rest of the film, people on the bridge to El Paso and the Guns. traveling through Mexico City and the whole bit. No, 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 no! But we're talking about one little scene. <laughs> I don't think it's necessarily stronger to be on a close-up for a scene than it is a wide shot with tiny little figures. It's all about context. I think that there's a dictatorship of the close-ups in cinema, and the thing is beautiful, I love the power of close-ups, but uh, there's something about seeing the vulnerability of a, a character in the landscape, a relationship with space that uh, uh, cannot translate in a close-up. Yeah, I think it's sensibility, and you have an uncanny knack of knowing when a wide shot will hold it starts to mean something else. Yeah, 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 it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no longer just a, an establishing shot. It becomes something else. And if the camera's moving in slowly, it actually means much more. There's one particular scene in Sicaria that people ask me a lot about, which is, is the scene between Josh and Emily after they come back 
across the border and all the SUVs pull to a halt, they get out and they have that argument. Mm-hmm. Got a little nutty, huh? Nutty, yeah. Yeah, that was f-ing illegal. You want to start a war? You're a f-ing spook. The wide shot was only the shot we had made for the convoy pulling up and them getting out. I thought when we set it up, we said, OK, we'll think about coverage if we need it after. Don't sell yourself short, all right? But you let that take play and they're kind of small figures in the distance and it's all played in the wide shot. What is is what happens when they dig in. What? This is it. What am I doing here? What you're doing here is you're giving us the opportunity to shake the tree and create chaos. That's what this is. I thought the shot was cinematically meaningful, seeing all the group of men going back inside the building and leaving her behind. Uh, and uh, there was something uh, uh, quite powerful. You don't know where it's going. I find that's what, I mean, you have an idea where you want to go, but you don't really know what the shot is and where, the, where it's going, the look of the film, until it's actually there and happening and all those people are together with the actors and the sets. And, and then suddenly the camera rolls and you think, oh, that's what it's really going to look like. I mean... Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. There's chaos of life always brings something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say that you.